Yeah, Nailed I've been it. calling him Kevin this whole time, and he'll never forgive me. But yeah. it's stuck. It's a thing now. Yeah. So uh, we're just showing off some of the vacuums, and we actually set up this whole race over here that was super popular. So tell us what you got going on here. What's the race? So what we got is uh, 200 feet of 7 8 yoga pipe, and this is to simulate a 5-ton system with about a 30 to 40 foot line length. Okay, um, because the internal volume is the same. Uh, when you do, do the math. Yeah, okay. All right, so uh, we are hooking up a 2 CFM battery power pump um, using the True Blue hoses, um, and we have a micron gauge here, and the valve core is uh, pulled. That's right, battery power, he said. Look at, look at how small that is. Look how tiny that is. How, that's incredible. Look All at right. that little guy. Up against? Up against uh, Navex 12 CFM designed for the commercial guys vacuum pump now these are both dc motor pumps uh so uh they are lightweight uh yes it, it it does look big but it is a little bit heavy um but still lighter than your average 12 cfm uh vacuum pump where this one i think is about seven pounds without the battery yeah so yeah Okay. Both pumps uh, have that built-in check valve, so if you do, uh, you know, lose your power or you don't have, uh, you run out of battery, um, or if someone disconnects your power, you don't lose your vacuum. You have to start all over. Um, okay, so automatically just boom, saves automatically your vacuum, shuts off. Seals yeah. That off. Okay. What's, what's nice about the two is we actually added an additional blank off valve there yep. as a security blanket. Um, and also, if you intentionally want to change your battery, you're like, okay, I know I'm getting close. Yeah, you can just go ahead and flip that up. Boom. Nice. Turn it off. There. Nice. On the valve core tools that we have, uh, ours is a two in one, which is a uh, 5 16 or quarter inch. And you'll notice that the quarter inch is already connected in there. Um, so, ready to go. So, the difference between these two rigs, and a lot of guys on Facebook uh, said this is well, how come uh, you know, you're not hooking up your micron gauge to the furthest point um, on, uh, oh, on yeah. one of the rigs? Mm -hmm. Well, the reason why. Uh, they didn't add the connection, so sorry guys. Uh, yeah. We're trying to do it as fair as possible. That's why we put them both in the right spot. there. So you got a like for like experience on both both vacuums for the race. Okay. So on the 12 over here, uh, we are mimicking what most uh, technicians do, and what that is is hook your vacuum pump through a manifold, through your low and your high side hoses. So you see right here how you, your hoses are hooked up to the system. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So uh, through your high and your low. So what we're going to simulate is uh, is you know proper practice. Uh, you know pulling the cores. This one actually has the core still in it. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, on this one we had to remove it just so we could add the micron gauge and, and get a reading. Because right. you're never going to get a good accurate reading on a micron gauge on an analog uh, yeah, manifold. Never. Yeah. There. Okay. So that what you have here, best practice, tiny pump. 2 CFM, a practice you see a lot on a giant industrial 12 CFM right here. And uh, we're going to race and see if uh, best practices actually really work. Yep. All right. So I'm going to call my assistant, Andrew Greaves, over here. Well, you got quite the assistant. <laughs> Just kidding. Not my assistant. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andrew, can you put your hand on that? Uh, well, first say hi to everyone in uh, hi. TV hi. land. Hi. And, you know, real quick, just to point out, you know, you hear that a lot about the, you know, having that micron gauge far away, totally true, but people get hung up on that and, 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 and need to remember whether it's in the vacuum pump, next to the vacuum pump, as far away from the vacuum pump. All that's determining is the variable or the amount of time you need to allow it to equalize right. before your reading is accurate. Right. It's not to say that that gauge being here in this case or there in this case or off the manifold in this case, is not going to be accurate in general. It just means you need to understand that it's close to the source of the vacuum, which means you're going to need to give that time to equalize with the farthest point of the system. Right. And in this case, where this is literally just a coil of tubing, it's going to rectify very quick. You know, it's going to yeah. equal out really, really quickly. So for the, for the sake of this demonstration, yeah. it's really a non-issue. Yeah. As long as we're giving it time, a few seconds here to settle out. So just want to get that out of the way now. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. You ready? We'll turn them on. Race is on. Make sure that these are on. Can, are the, is that one on? It's on. It's this on. one on? Yep. iPads on? iPads on. All right, here we go. One, two, three. 
two, three. DC motor, uh, dual nice stage. Soft, quiet startup. Yeah. Nice, soft, quiet. Yeah, we can still have a conversation here. over the pumps, which is nice. Awesome. So, how yeah. much volume again did you say this was? Like equivalent to what kind of a system? That's it's close to a five ton. Nice. Internal volume, you know, accounting for the coils as well in the typical system. Yeah. All they right. look different here, but it's Race really because on. two different people made these bundles and one did a really crappy job. One <laughs> of them did a really nice tight job. One did a very nice tight job. And you can't lie with the yoga pipe because actually they print the footage on the actual pipe. Yeah. Uh, by any means, uh, you know, Navac doesn't uh, endorse any kind of pipe or anything like that. But just to show you, uh, this is a rig from some of our local uh, reps, Target Sales. Yeah who actually take these rigs on the road and uh, take the show to you guys. So uh, if you're in the state of Florida, give them a call. Some of our other reps have similar rigs that they uh, have, and they actually take the training directly to the contractors, which is nice. Nice. Teach best practices. So how are we doing on those micron gauges? Are we... Uh, We're still on high pressure. Still on HP, okay. Yeah. Sorry, Dirk. So, I mean, you got a lot of volume that these things are immediately starting to work with. So. Yep. Nice. These oil fill caps are not a novelty. Uh, this is actually to keep the oil, a mechanism to keep the oil inside the pump. So what we have is, uh, is this is our oil mist filter uh, okay. built in. Now, if you notice on the 12 CFM pump, we actually have a gas ballast here. Yeah. On the 2 CFM, to keep costs down and to keep it affordable, we didn't have the gas ballast. Yeah. But on the 4 CFM, we go ahead and added that in. Uh, we added a tow hook on the 4 CFM uh, okay. that the 2 CFM didn't get. And you'll see that this is smoking, giving off a little bit of uh, oil vapor, but it's yep. not enough to yeah. you know, so cause that's an issue. A, that's why I'm not seeing that over here. That's why you're not seeing it. Oh, but that's cool. Also, the other reason is, is I accidentally yeah. flipped my pump upside down, similar to a uh, real truck application, right? That doesn't happen, but yeah. Real truck app application, now. this one's been flipped upside down in the past uh, 48 hours. So, just okay, appreciate- we're starting to break in. Appreciate how, uh, how quiet these pumps are. We're having, we're recording and we're having a show here, but the pumps are still going. Okay, so this vacuum has two ports hooked up on our system, and we're also using the manifold through the vacuum charge tubing, which is a little bit larger than the actual quarter. So um, this thing's that's its advantage that it's trying to work with here. So a couple minutes, like not even two minutes in yet. Yeah. Twenty-seven hundred. Show yep. the difference. 7,500 over here. So we're just we're just in a couple minutes in. And we got 7,500 over here with a 12 CFM giant vacuum. 2,100 over there. So noticeable win already happening. And even though you have this ginormous vacuum, you are so withheld by um, how fast you can actually do this by the size of your refrigerant lines. So that's pretty awesome. And then just think about the fact, if this is your five ton unit that you're, you're pulling a vacuum on, you can have that battery powered 2CFM vacuum pulling a vacuum this fast in your five ton unit, so. Yeah, and the coolest part is we've been running this all day long. Yeah. That's the same battery that I charged last night. Really? So we've been running this, you know, multiple vacuums. So guys like to ask the question, well, how long does the battery last? That's always the first question. Yeah. The answer is between 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. But the fact is, is that, you know, if, if you can pull, pull a vacuum this fast. Yeah, yeah. If you pull it that fast, you could get a bunch out of that. Yeah. You changed oil yet during the event? I have not, but I have tested it multiple times. So usually uh, I test it in the morning before I start. I will then test it again, probably midday. Um, we just tested not 1, too long ago, pulled down 4, to what the rating plate says. So awesome. Navac is a little bit special. We put the uh, what the ultimate vacuum is actually on the rating plate, which is on this side of the pump. 
on both sides. You, you could see it on our big pump, but it's the same thing on, on the small pumps. Ultimate vacuum is 23 microns on that one and five microns on this one. So that's not a marketing buzzword that Navac made up. Um, it, it is a tool. It's a, it's a tool for the technicians. It's that missing factor or reference point. So you can test any vacuum pump's oil integrity with a micron gauge, but that's the number that you need to know to gauge if we have a presence of moisture in the vacuum pump versus the equipment, do we have a leak, do we have any other issues? So you throw a micron gauge on the quarter inch port of any vacuum pump, turn it on, and within seconds, you'll get you know probably one of three outcomes. Uh, one, which is what we want, it's gonna pull down really quickly to a very close margin of that rated number on the nameplate. And that's gonna give you, uh, you know, undisputable proof that you're clean and good to go, dry, full integrity of that oil is intact. Uh, Cause that won't lie. Yeah. These pumps, two stage, uh, 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 pumps like this rely on that dry oil to make the seal that allows that deep vacuum. Um, outcome number two, you'll pull down, stall, few thousand, few hundred, maybe even microns, and maybe even some goofy jumping around um, at, 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 a, at a higher level, which is textbook moisture presence, yeah. um, at which case change the oil. And that is gonna take place much earlier than a, a, a physical color change that you can see. If your oil looks like milk, if your oil looks like any other body fluids, anything like, change your oil. It's got, it's got moisture. Um, uh, Mine's as red as blood, you know. Yeah, but, but I assure you that that degradation took place long before the actual color change. Yeah. And this is how we can preemptively catch that with a very quick and, and very precise uh, test that leaves no doubt, no, no, no uh, 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 window of interpretation or speculation. We're, we're below 500. So there Boom. you go. The, the, um, What's our time? Nine? Yeah, it looks like. It was that started accurately? No, this is counting down. So we're about six, oh, 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 so we're okay. about six okay. minutes in. Oh, I looked at yeah. that wrong. Six yeah. minutes yeah. in yeah. on so the 2 CFM pump, we're already below 500. We're already below 500? Yeah, below yeah. 500. And it's not because the 2 CFM pump is a modern marvel of engineering. Right. But it's a visual, uh, a, a visual demonstration and proof of the principles that leaders of this industry are promoting all around and, and, and really get a lot of resistance, yeah. right? There's a lot of resistance back from people that, that uh, refuse to accept this as, as, as doctrine or science and, and right. think it's a way to sell hoses or pumps or anything like that. Uh, the, pr the, the, the proof's, proof's right, right here, there, right? Yeah, so anybody uh, who's- Frankly, this hurts us as anything, right? Because we probably <laughs> will sell less 12 CFM pumps. After this. Uh, yeah, which, yeah, which are considerably more expensive than two CFM pumps. So yeah. I wanted to wait and see how long it would take to get this one under 500. So um, just to recap case. for anybody who's joined so a little bit later, what we're doing is we have a two CFM right? versus a 12 wanna, CFM. Yeah, if we're, we're, if the 12 we're, CFM is get? pulling through a manifold so from both sides of the system. The two CFM is pulling through a proper vacuum We're design hose the pump. and the two of cfm We're which is battery powered over here is kicking the butt it is so i'm gonna go ahead and uh close my valve first on a five ton then turn off my capacity pump. and this one's over here still struggling up at 1700 so uh, now keep in mind pretty, this is this is at the beginning that, of where you're pulling um, the vacuum if you're pulling a vacuum um, so your if you were actually had had your vacuum gauge at the end you are wasting you'll see a less lot of time that you don't need to be actually wasting and in the meantime just look at this Anybody who's just joining, I, I show the show this vacuum off because it's just so much fun. This is their battery powered 2 CFM. Look how tiny that is. And you give it the right setup and it's gonna kick butt for you out in the field. And like we mentioned before, uh, you'll get 45 minutes to one hour runtime on those batteries. Uh, we've been running it all day. Um, and then the charge time on those batteries is only about 30 minutes. So, you know, keep in mind, if you have two batteries, you can sit there and juggle batteries. Um, Navac actually came out with this year, uh, we came out with an adapter that turns your uh, cordless pump back into corded if you're that guy who forgets to charge your batteries at night. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that would be me. Yeah, I already admitted this. I already admitted this, but okay, barely, well. Barely any that, decay at all, guys. That shows the race. That shows what we've done. And so uh, hope that was exciting for you guys to see in action. Use the right tools and you can make something like this 2CFM battery powered vacuum 
work really well for you out in the field, uh, especially light commercial stuff or residential stuff. Fantastic. So, yeah, yeah. and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> what